Hey and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr. Hegarty here and this is video 16 in our Maths Revision set and we're talking about stem and leaf diagrams. Just to make you aware with these videos, um, they're for quick, very focused revision where we go over the main grade B and C topics to ensure you get as, at least that in the GCSE. For detailed uh, revision, check out the website for full tutorials. This is supposed to be for the purposes of revision. So make a revision card on the following uh, two slides I'm going to do. So this is stem and leaf diagrams and we'll do it via a question. The following, uh, the following uh, are the measurements of 15 uh, girls' uh, wrists, uh, wrist widths in year 8, 9 and 10 in centimetres, okay? And it asks you to draw an ordered stem and leaf diagram. So be careful to uh, read that it's ordered, so the data has got to be in order in your stem and leaf diagram. This is usually three marks, I'll show you how to get the three. The first thing you do is you draw a bar like that and what you're going to do is uh, um, always um, only one number can go in what's called the leaf bit here so the number that's going to go in the leaf bit is the second uh, digit so that 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 and that now in front of nine is obviously zero nine like that so we're going to have a zero in the stem we're going to have a one in the stem and we're going to have a two in the stem so what zeros come up so make sure you uh, tick them off as you go along zero nine so we're going to put a nine there and another zero nine so nine there then we've got uh, what's the smallest one we've got we've got one 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 and one one so eleven so one one and one then we've got a two a three a four, a five, a five, so a two, a three, a four, a five, a five, uh, a six, a seven, and an eight, a six, seven, and an eight, and with the twos we're going to have a zero and a two, so a zero and a two, like that. Now, before you move on, make sure you count up that you've actually got 15 in your st stem and leaf diagram. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes. So that makes you happy. And you always, always must have a key. And say that 0, 9 in this case, 0 stroke 9 means, and in this case it means uh, 9 centimetres. So 9 centimetres. So let me show you the mark. The mark is um, you usually get three marks for this. The one mark is for it being in order. One mark is for it being complete, not missing any items. And the third mark is usually for having a key. Okay, so make sure you do that. Now, just before I go on, so that, that is uh, the answer to this question, which I'm gonna do more detail on. Just say um, um, these were all uh, 1.2s and 0.9s, etc. We would still have our key being this, we would still have our diagram being this, except for we would say at the end that 0 0.9 actually means um, 0 0.9 centimetres or whatever. So you don't put the decimal point in this diagram, you would use it in your key. So that's just a little point uh, to make out there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to then go on and use this information. So I'm going to copy this here. Um, into the next page and these are the following things we could be asked from this. We could be asked to work out the mode, the median, the mean, the range and the interquartile range etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through each of these and how to work them out. Now the mode is the one that comes up the most often. Now the one that came up the most often here was this and make sure you don't write the mode as one. The mode is one stroke one which is eleven and write the unit, 11 centimetres. Do not write one. A lot of students make that mistake. Now the median, how would you go about working out the median? The median is the middle number. So what you do is, you don't cross them off, a lot of students cross them off, but what you can do is you can start, you can say, well, it's, it's not the first or the last, it's not the second uh, from the front or the second from the back, 
Not that one, 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 not that one. There's one left on its own in the middle. And you would not write four as the median. The median is 14 centimeters, okay? Do not write four. Be very careful. Now the mean, the mean is the total divided by how many? The number of them. So what you do is you get your calculator out and you're adding up these numbers. Now it would probably be easiest to go back to the original set of numbers and add these up. So you would add, so you would do a fraction, you would do 9, add 12, add 15, add 11, add 11, add 13, add 14, add 15, add 20, add 22, add 9, add 11, add 16, add 18, add 17, and all of that uh, divided by uh, the number of them, there are 15. And it says the answer is 14.2. So you would say it's equal to 14.2 centimetres. In fact, I did a small mistake there. I really should have written the total out. So I, uh, I should have written it's 213 divided by 15 to show my work in. Now the range is the biggest number, subtract the smallest. Now whatever you do, don't do this. Don't say it's two take away nine or nine take away two. It's 22 take away nine, uh, like that, which is equal to 13 centimeters. Now the interquartile range, a bit more working required for this. Now the interquartile range is the 75th percent number take away the 25th percent number. Now if that's the middle number, the 25th percent number is the middle of these numbers before it. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. So the middle must be the fourth one. One, two, three, uh, the fourth one there. So it's 11. So the 25th is 11. The middle of these numbers, which would be the 75th, were, uh, were there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the middle will come at the fourth from here. One, two, three, four that um, it would be 17. So it'd be 17 take away 11, which is equal to six centimeters. Okay, the last thing, and um, this question is very, very common. It's usually for two marks. It then says, there's your girl's data, and it says the boy's wrist widths were also measured. The range was 15 centimeters and the mean was 18. Compare the boy's and the girl's data. You say one comment about the average. You say one comment about the range. And you say both these comments in context of the question and with the following keywords and you'll get two marks. So if the boy's mean was 18 and the girl's mean was 14.2, uh, you could write for your first mark on average, boy's wrists, you'd say on average the boy's wrists are wider as mean bigger. Okay, that would get you one mark. And the second, the range of the boys is 18, whereas the range of the girls is 13. You could say the boys' wrist uh, widths are more, and this is the key, are more spread out. You must say that number, spread out. And if you say spread out, you get the second mark. So there's two marks for that. Comment on the average and the range. Compare the average and the range in context. So say the boys' wrist widths are bigger than the girls for this one, and the boys' wrist, wrist widths are more spread out for that. Just one thing before I, I show you the exam questions. Imagine in this question, there was an extra item, item of data here, and it was 23. What would the median have been? Well, the median, because there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 numbers, it would happen between the 8th and the 9th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It would happen between these two numbers. So what you would do is you would take those numbers, 14, add 15, and you would half it and say that the median is 14.5. So just to point that out to you so you know um, if there are two numbers in the middle, then you add them up and divide by 2. Okay, that's all you need for stem and leaf and all the different things you could be asked to work out in regards to it. So hopefully that's really useful. Let's try some questions. I'm going to show you a question, you pause it, do the question, 
then I'm going to show you the answer and where the marks came. Okay, let's start off with this one. Pause the video. So I'm going to show you the answer now, and here it is. And I want to show you where you get the marks. One, you get the marks if they're in order. Two, you get the marks if they're complete. So make sure you've gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and checked it's 16. So if it's complete, and you would get the third mark for the key. And the key, 2 straight 9, means 29 miles per hour. So three easy, easy marks. Make sure you get those in the exam. Next question. Okay, I'll show you the answers to this one. And here it is. And I actually thought of a quite a good way of doing this to make sure you don't make an error. I used a different color for the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, and 60s, just to make sure I, I count them all. Make sure you count them up. There is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And I know there are 20 because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 4 rows of 5. So I know there's 20. And given that I counted up 20, that's right. So it's complete. One mark. It's in order for the second mark, and I've got my key for the third mark, and I'm done for three. Okay, next question. Pause the video. Have a go. I'll show you the answer in 10 seconds. So pause. Okay, the answer to this question is as follows. So check you got this. So I use the colours again. Count up that you've got 15 students. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So for one mark, it's complete. For two marks, it's in order. And for three marks, I filled in the key. Okay, next question. As always, pause the video, attempt it, then check your working. So here we go. Pause. And the answer to this one is as follows. So here's my stem and leaf diagram. Uh, if you count these up, I've got 16, which matches the 16 here. So I'm complete so for one mark. It's in order for two marks, and I've got my key. Now do notice here, um, I didn't write a decimal in my stem and leaf diagram. There's absolutely no need for that, because two stroke four here means 2.4. So I deal with the decimal in my key. Okay, next question. Pause the video, have a go. Okay, I'm actually going to go through this one. It gave you a stem and leaf diagram and asked you to work out the median. So the median was the middle number. So what I do is uh, I would, um, there are 31 tomato plants. So if you've got 31 numbers, there are two ways of doing this. If you've got 31 numbers in a line, well, clearly you're going to have 15 that side, 15 that side, and one in the middle. So it's the 16th number the median is going to happen at. Um, so you could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and realise it's there. So it will be 32 and tomatoes. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is just to use the stem and leaf diagram. It's probably a bit harder, but it, you can do both ways to check you've got it right, in fact. So what you can do is you can say, well, it's not the first, it's not the, it, well, it's not the first, it's not the last, and then you do the next two, and the, ne the next first, the next last, the next first, the next last, next first, next last, next first, next last, next first, next last, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That one, 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 and you're left with 32 in the middle again, so it's 32. Now, the interquartile range, what you're going to need for this is you're going to need the 75th percent number and the 25th percent number. Now, if that's the middle one here, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 12, 13, 14, 15 numbers. So the middle of those would happen at the eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this one here, the 25th number will be 21. And if I do it with these, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 15 again. 
Okay, and the middle would happen at the eighth along here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight would be there. So it'd be 45. And you would do 45 subtract 21, which is equal to 24 tomatoes. Okay, so that's how you do the median and the interquartile range. Okay, next question, pause the video and have a go at all the parts. I'm gonna go through this in um, five seconds. Okay, so firstly, you get your easy three marks by drawing your stem and leaf diagram. So our stem and leaf diagram would look something like this. We've got um, 0, 8, so we'd have a 0 here. We're going to have 10s, we've got 20s, we've got 30s, and we've got 40s. So we've got all of that going on. So let's do this in order. So we've got 0, 8 there. So I'm going to write 0, 8 as my first one. Then we'll do the, the teens, where I'll mark off all the teens to start with so I can then order them as I go through. So it would be 12, 15, uh, or 12, 13, 15, 17, 18, 12, 13, 15, 17, 18. And then I'll do the 20, so there's a 20 there, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 and 20. So it'd be 20, put zero there, it'd be one, Two, 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 three, three. Now, just as I was going through, I actually spotted a small mistake I did. I noticed I didn't mark this 10 here. So it's helpful when you're going through, always keep an eye out. I can move those over and I could put in a zero there for the 10. Okay, now we're going to do the 30s. So um, there's a 35, those two are 30s, that one and that one. So it'll be one, three, four, five. So one, three, four, five. And lastly, 40s, I've got 46 and 44. So I'm gonna put a four and a six. Now count them at this point, because there's a lot there. I need 21, let's make sure I've got 21. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now it's good I made a mistake there. I've got 20 and I need 21. Now what am I missing? Looking back up at my diagram, I'm missing that 45. So I did that on purpose just to show you that counting helps you actually um, make sure you haven't made a mistake. So that would be that. So they're in order for one mark. They're complete now for two. What am I missing? The key. So make sure you do your key and say that zero a means, and in this case, it is time in minutes, so eight minutes. Okay? But then, here's the wording question. It said roadworks near the school meant that the time to travel to school by every teacher was increased by five. So all of these numbers were increased by five. What was the median? Well, what was the median before? There are 21 teachers, so the median is not that one, or that one, not that one, 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 or that one, not that, or that. Not that, or that, not that, or that. The median was 24. So the median was, sorry, 22, but everything's been increased by five, so it's gonna be 27 minutes, okay? Because it's gonna be 22 add five. And we could have worked this out, 21, the middle of 21 numbers is clearly the 11th. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So we knew it would be that one, 22. Now, it says state whether the interquartile range of the times will be less, greater, or the same as on Monday. Give a reason. If everything was moved up by 5, then the 25th number would be moved up by 5, the 75th. And when you take them away, they'd be the same far apart. So the answer would be the same as the, 70, uh, as the 25th uh, percentile and 75th, both increased by 5. by five, so their difference, i.e. when you subtract them, their difference is the same. And we're done. So hopefully that helped you with everything on stem and leaf.